Phantom from Viking Airsoft Core, and this is a Classic Army Scar L CQC in black. Alright, to start off with, they call it the CQC. Close course combat, it says folding stock. Cut the length about in half. And then you've got your, all these rails for catching anything you want. You put a foregrip down here, flashlight, PQ box. And everything on this gun is original except for I've added a Tokyo Marui silencer and a 6.01 Type 4 and a system of cylinder head. But other than that, this is how it comes out of the box except for the Skull Candy sticker. And then also comes with uh, rear sight, just goes right on the rail system. You can take it off as I did. Then it comes with a uh, flip up sight right here. Very nice. Looks looks real nice and works really well. Alright, some of the external features that it has. Uh, adjustable cheek riser. Uh, you can change the length of the stock. Of course you can uh, do that. Uh, it has nice charging handle. You can actually uh, take off the charging handle from the right side, put it on the left for left handed. It has uh, ambidextrous uh, mag release. And uh, selector switch. Uh, that's about it for the external. So also has a real nice uh, pistol grip right here. All right, for the internals, uh, shoots an average like 380 FPS. Uh, accurate for about 40 yards. Pr pretty good. Uh, really nice rate of fire. Uh, Pretty much it for the internals. Uh, putting the battery, it's actually a real pain. I use an 8.4 Ma uh, NIM battery, mini type. What you have to do is uh, take out a hex screw right here, which uh, the stock comes off, slide the battery in, plug it in, and then put it back in. But I have my electrical taped right now because I lost the hex screw, so I need to go get that fixed. Uh, this thing is a real nice gun. I'd probably rate it like 8.5 out of 10. I mean, a few problems are putting the battery in, and then if you open and uh, close the stock a lot, uh, the wire could break a little bit, so you have to electrical tape that before it blows your gun up. And then, uh, it's a real nice uh, finish on the paint. Doesn't really scratch that much. Looks real nice, realistic. All of the upper receiver is metal, just the lower is plastic, pistol grip, and stock. And then up front you have your uh, gas valve thing, that's realistic, doesn't really do much for airsoft purpose, but it comes with a uh, 360 round classic army high cap mag, uh, pretty standard, but I like to run a Macro P mag gives it a real nice look and works great. Phantom for Viking Airsoft Core, and this is Classic Army Scarlet CQC.